Hey, what's going on? Just driving home from work and I've uh, been planning on doing a new segment on the channel and uh, figured I'd start getting it going. I want to do a new, I guess, playlist on the channel called just something in general like hound hunting or hound talk or hound conversation or if somebody's got something good they want a, a good name for this go ahead and put it in the comments down below but so basically what I'm wanting to do is just talk about stuff that has to do with hunting you know it doesn't it could be anything in general it could be competition hunting or conservation or laws or anything like that so basically it could be anything so if you got anything that you want me to talk about or you think would be good conversation piece or anything like that make sure you shoot me a message on facebook or put a comment down in the comment section on this video but so i want to start off today on this episode right here with talking about social media the impacts of social media and the pros and some cons of social media when it comes to hunting with hounds so when i first got into hunting about the biggest social media thing platform that there was was the message boards and on the ukc website and pkc website more more so the as far as talking about controversial stuff or talking about hounds in general it was more so the UKC forums uh, there's a there was a lot of heated arguments and talks and talks about breeding and all kinds of stuff on there so but that's kind of went to the wayside a little bit I, I, I still get on there and talk some and everything and I know a lot of nothing against the older guys but a lot of the older guys really don't do a whole lot of Facebook and Instagram and all that kind of stuff but with that being said the Facebook and Instagram and well here on YouTube and everything else it's kind of kind of taken over the you know the classifieds and all that kind of stuff people are you know it's it's easier to find you know used hunting gear on Facebook than it is to get on the forum and find it so is that a plus? Yeah, I think so. I, um, personally, I think it's nice, you know, if you can kind of put a face to who you're buying something off of or who you're talking to or any of that kind of stuff and see a little bit more background to them and everything. Um, like on the forums, there wasn't really a whole lot of, all you got was a, a username down at the bottom. And if you didn't know that person personally, then you didn't really know how credible that was or anything like that but with that being said I think that's a plus side of it I think uh, a lot of us younger guys and younger than me people are using that Avenue for that and being able to you know connect on a more broad spectrum than just you know being able to talk through like a a message or posting on something on the forum so I think that's good I also there's a lot of bad that comes with it I think um, you know as far as there's there's always somebody you know putting down something that somebody puts on there or whatever and, and, and I honestly think that that'll be that'll be an issue forever because people don't know how to keep their mouth shut they don't know how to you know be respectful to other people and stuff you know so it's like anything else I, th I think a lot of a lot of the younger generation is turning to that and they're asking questions on there and they're asking you know about it could be something as simple as pedigrees and stuff like that and, and somebody's always got something smart to say and it was a, I, I feel like personally I feel like it was the same way on the forums and everything but you know it's it's gonna happen everywhere and and if you are one of those young people or somebody that gets discouraged by that kind of stuff just have some thick skin and kind of push it to the wayside I mean opinions are like you know 
Every, everybody's got one, so just kind of take it with a grain of salt and go with it. Um, my main reasoning for wanting to talk about this is um, a, a lot of things I'm probably going to talk about on this section of the channel here is going to be coming from a you know a conservation slash anti hunters and you know that kind of thing this whole youtube facebook instagram thing that we got going on it's it's great i i love the the youtube part of it obviously or i wouldn't be out filming hunts and going to competition hunts and filming them and and, and all that stuff with it. I, I love that part of it. I think it's I think it can be a great tool. Um, I think it's something that, you know, w when I was younger, and, and I also, there's a lot of old ways that need to stay going, and that can be a whole nother topic in another way, but well, there's a dog kennel on somebody's trailer back there they're getting rid of, gonna have to go back there. But anyways, off subject. Um, For a younger person, say, you know, not all not all people grow up in a, you know, a hound community. I, I was, I'm from generations and generations of, of people that have hunted with hounds and, and I have family that hunts and all that stuff. So I had, I had the avenue to get all that experience. Um, there's some people that get into this, that get into hunting with hounds and stuff that they don't have that the avenue to have the family or or maybe they live somewhere where there's not a whole bunch of hunting and stuff like that social media and YouTube is phenomenal for that person there is so much knowledge out there that can be passed on through video and like uh, Chris Powell and, and Steve Fielder are doing the Houndsman XP podcast they just started doing that if you haven't checked that out I absolutely urge you to go check that out because those guys are doing amazing work. They're getting, they're getting people on there that are just have done mounds of things for the hound community, and it you, there's a lot to be learned from that. Just just in listening to those guys and the content that they're putting out there. So I think it's awesome for that. My biggest downfall with all of it is is people we are we are shooting ourselves in the foot when it comes to some things um i'm i'm very big on the comp conservation side of it and us keeping our rights to hunt and all that kind of stuff and you know if if you haven't looked into the power that PETA and hsus has and all that kind of stuff you need to do that you need to get I'm gonna jump on a soapbox here a little bit, but you need to get up off your butt and you need to check that out because it's something that they have way more money than we do, way more people than we do, way more resources than we do and everything else. And they are smart, smart, smart people. And honestly, a lot of us are just feeding the fire when it comes to the things that we post on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and all that kind of stuff. Um, just like, okay, so even in my videos, you know, during actual hunting season, I shoot some coons out and stuff like that. But you gotta be, you gotta be careful about what you do like that. You gotta be careful about, you know, it's gotta be a humane kill and and all that kind of stuff. But if you got five dogs stretching a coon out just fighting with it or you knock a coon out and it's still alive and you video that them dogs fighting with that coon all you're doing by posting that kind of stuff is just adding fuel to the fire literally okay so humane society of the united states has people that they pay to literally just get on the internet and find little tiny clips that they can put to helping their fight to get you know things banned and stuff like that and they're not honestly a lot of the times they're not even 
they're not even trying to outlaw okay let's say just I, and I live in Indiana they're not just trying to say you cannot coon hunt with dogs in Indiana anymore they're trying to find little bitty loopholes where they can make it where it's impossible for us to own the hounds that we have in order to be able to hunt yeah there is instances where they're trying to absolutely ban it and everything there's been instances over the past 10 years where they've tried to do that I know they've tried to do some stuff up in Michigan with you know bear hunters and trying to get bear hunting outlawed with dogs and over bait and all that kind of stuff but my main topic here is watch what you're posting on the social media platforms okay if you want to post dogs you know tree in or you know all that kind of stuff if you want to show that stuff off that's that's great you know there's a lot of things that can help us as houndsmen whenever it comes to you know helping our efforts and fighting off the, the antis and all that kind of stuff. Take videos of you and your kids. Take videos of you and your family out doing the stuff, you know. If, if we can broadcast to the world that we are a great people and we do, we are very family oriented and all that stuff. This so I'm in the military, I'm in the Indiana Army National Guard, that's what I do full time. Um, I have always compared anybody in the hound community to military people. All you guys that are, in the, anybody that's in the military, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like a family, it's just a big family, that's all it is. Military people are very big family people. They're very big family oriented. Hounds people are the exact same way. Very family oriented, very youth oriented. You know, most, th there's bad seeds in everything you do. Don't get me wrong. There's, there's gonna be bad seeds out there. It is what it is. But honestly, I'm gonna say 95% of the hound community, whether it's bear hunting, deer hunting, rabbit hunting, coon hunting, and any of that. Everybody is, they're such down to earth, great people. And we need to showcase that through our social media aspects. You know, if you can, if you can video that kind of stuff and put it out there, absolutely. Put that stuff out there. Put your kids out there hunting with you. If your kids are out there hunting with you and everything, Show that to the world. Show your, you know, just remember what you put out there might be taken the wrong way by somebody and might be used as fuel to the fire for us. Any kind of ammunition that people, that anyone can get to help try and outlaw the things that we love, they're absolutely going to do. And I don't know about you, but I want my kids and my grandkids to be able to enjoy this amazing thing that I've done for my entire life and I've been around my whole life. So that's basically what I wanted to do on this episode was kind of talk about that kind of stuff and if I lost interest in anybody, I, I hope I didn't, but I'm gonna start some segments like this. If there's anything that you want me to talk about or go over or anything like that, make sure to shoot me a message whether it be on Facebook, uh, you can message us on the Deer Creek Cartel Facebook page, um, Instagram on, Deer, on the Deer Creek Cartel Instagram page. Leave me a comment right down here in the comment section here on YouTube. But this is basically kind of what I'm, I'm wanting to do here is kind of, you know, just, just do some general talking. I, uh, honestly, the Houndsman XP podcast is kind of, it's, it's kind of sparked a little interest going on up here. Well, just want just want to talk about you know hounds in general whether it's it, it could be anything if there's anything that you want me to talk about or any subjects that you think would be good to talk about we can have some conversations in it or anything like that or you got questions on you know garments or or anything in general just shoot me a message let me know what you want to hear because I want to do this for what you know the viewers want to hear and everything like that I'll probably come up with some stuff on my own but other than that I'm about home 
So I'm gonna go enjoy this kind of gloomy, muggy, hot, 90 degree, rainy Indiana afternoon. So I'm hoping to get some more hunting videos up here soon, which should be happening. Like I, I said, I posted on the Facebook page. I've, I've been gone doing some military training this summer and me and the family just moved and I don't have all my stuff set up and I ain't I really had a whole lot of time to go hunting. But I'm settled in now and I'm gonna start hunting again and getting the dogs out and everything. We're gonna be at Autumn Oaks here in what the heck, probably a month and a half, two months from now. I'm not even that, probably a month and a half from now. So hope to see y'all there. But with all that, I'll, uh, I will talk at you later and hope y'all enjoyed this little conversation. So we'll see you later.